Hi, this is Casey. I am a registered dietitian and certified personal trainer. I help women lose fat, get fit, and gain confidence. The workout that you are about to view is just a sample of the many that are available in my online platform. If you would like to complete this workout, I encourage you to do so. And I would recommend that you repeat it for a total of three times. If you do like what you see here, I encourage you to check out the full workout available on my website, inspirehw.com. Just a quick reminder, if you are brand new to lifting, or if it's been quite some time since you have been active, this probably isn't the best workout for you to start with. But I do offer beginner level workouts available in my online platform, inspirehw.com for more info. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our hit and core workout today. I look forward to getting us uh, started with this workout, and I look forward to finishing this workout. <laughs> so let's get started with a side to side step here uh, for our workout today. You will need a jump rope and some light weights as well as your yoga mat because we will be mixing in some core today. So follow along. Let's get moving with our warm up right here, keeping that core engaged throughout our warm up will be real helpful. Side to side. If you don't have a jump rope, you don't have to worry. You can still make do. All right, we will pretend that you are the world's greatest jump roper and you never miss a skip. So no worries. <laughs> we'll still get you moving. We're gonna get our heart rate up today, cranking that heart rate up and making it interval style. So heart rate up. Take a little break, take it down, heart rate back up. My goodness, here we go. Let's people coming in the door today. I like it. Keep it coming, side to side. Good. Let's go into a hands behind the ears and we'll work that core as we get warmed up in three, two, and one. Right here. Up, elbow to knee. Good. And pull. Nice and easy to start. Getting that heart rate up and starting to get that blood flowing as we go. Here we go. Breathe, this workout will be a total of 35 minutes, start to finish. So hang with me, you blink and it's over, right? <laughs> Hopefully, here we go, side to side. And breathe, as always, with the moves, if you're not comfortable with it, you can always make a modification, take it down a notch. If anything, just stand and march in place. Goal is to keep moving throughout the hit series, okay? I'll show you some modifications as needed. Keep it going, side to side. Let's take it three, and two, and one. Here we go, and we'll go into an easy butt kick. Side to side, chest open, and pull those elbows back, in up, and stretch out those quads. You may be feeling it from our workout yesterday. Let's get you moving, get that blood flowing. That will help. Great job, and breathe. Pull the core in nice and tight, good work. Good. All right, we're gonna take it into a, oh, let's do a front to back leg swing so we can stretch out those hamstrings. In three, two, and one. Looks like this, one-legged swing. Forward and back, touch the toe if you can. Good. Great job. Nice and easy, Woo, keep that balance if you can, engage the core right here, and feel that good stretch through that hammy. That might be feeling a little tight yesterday from those uh, RDLs yesterday as well. Three more. Three, two, and one. Go ahead, switch sides. Great job, right here. Whew. A little tight back there for sure. Swing it forward and back. Nice and easy, reach that toe, you got it. Good, and breathe. Good. All right, we're gonna start this series out with core. So you're gonna need your mat right off the bat and we'll take it down through the floor, get the core going, and then I will show you our hit moves. All right, here's three, good, two, and one. Great job, go ahead, get that mat out and find yourself a lightweight and breathe as we pop it down. Lightweight, we're gonna start with the Russian twist, side to side. If you don't wanna use a weight, that's okay. We're gonna take it right here, side to side, feet up off the mat if you're capable. Otherwise, keep them on the floor right here. Lean it back. Good, we're gonna go about two to three minutes of core, and then we'll start into our hit 
Series, breathe, good. Good, side to side. Slow and control, get those feet up off the mat if you can. Good work. And breathe. Good. You got it, you got it. Hold it. Let's take it 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set the weight down. We're gonna take it into a reverse crunch, which looks like this. Knees into elbows, get those hips rocking a little bit off the mat and tap the toe on the bottom. Rocking those hips back. Keep those shoulders off the mat right here. Good, breathe. Good job. Tap the toe, you got it. Good. Come on, come on, keep it going. And breathe. Good work. We're gonna take it into a side plank with a reach under in five, four, three, two. Good, come on, onto your side. Hands should go right in front of you. Actually, hands should go out, you're on your forearm. Stack those feet up, and if you can, reach it under and up for 10. Otherwise, hold it side plank if you can't quite reach. There's three. Breathe, four, five, good, almost there. Six, seven, you got it. Here's eight, nine, and 10. Same thing, opposite side, flip it over. Forearm on the mat, stack the feet, and hip up, reach for 10. Nine, good, come on, we got this, eight. Seven, six, five, here's four, you got it, you got it, here's three, two, and last one, great job, come on up, that was about a little over two minutes, two, three minutes, come on up, move that mat out of the way, I will show you our hit series, so while I'm doing that, you're going to jog or march in place right now, so jog it out, as I show you our moves, and they are this. First move is a runner arm. We get down nice and low, and we pump the arms like we are running as fast as we can, but our legs stay in place. Uh, next is we're gonna grab two weights, light weights here, and keep jogging. All right, get that heart rate going. <laughs> we're gonna swing and press. Light weights right here, nothing heavy. Swing and press, and as I swing, I bend my knees slightly. Then I'm gonna take it down to the mat. And I'm gonna go a seated clap under. Looks like this. Right here. Alternating, clapping underneath my feet. If you need to one-legged to keep it a little more stable, you can do that. From here, I'm gonna go nice and low and I'm gonna rotate my hips and my knees and I'm gonna take it to a side punch, but I keep it nice and squat position the whole time. This is a challenging move is the next one. It's called a crab toe touch. I'll show you an alternate if you need to. I open up my hands, my fingers should be pointing backwards, and I take my opposite finger to my opposite toe right here. If this is too tough for you, you're gonna hold it high plank and do a shoulder tap. Last move, I promise, jump rope, pretend or grab your jump rope, and that's our moves, okay? So, you're jogging it out. We're gonna start with those runner arms. Here we go, in three. Two, and get low, right here. We go 30 seconds each move. I will tell you halfway to switch those legs. Pump the arms, right here, great job. Get low, get low. And we are going to switch in three. Two, switch the legs, sink it down nice and low. Come on, move the arms. Keeping that core engaged. We have the arm swing to the press, so you're gonna need those light weights. Great job. Here's three. Two, and one, right. and we swing, and press, light weights, right here. Chest open, and breathe, good, core tight, right here. We take it down into that seated, clap under our legs, so you want that mat probably out. Breathe, good, you got it. Push, here's three, two, and one, hop down, 
to the mat right here. Lap under. Looks like this. Come on, come on. Quick, quick, quick. Move and breathe from here. Squat to side punch. When I tell you we pop up quickly, we get into that squat to side punch. In 10 seconds, hold it, come on. And go, breathe, you got it. Here's three, two, come on up, keep it nice and low. And rotate the hips and the knees and punch, come on. Keep it nice and low, kick that foot out, it's almost like a little lunge. Go, burn through the quads, just a tad, come on. And go, punch. Great job, hold that core tight. You got it, we got crab toe touch or high plank with the shoulder tap in three, two, and one. Come and join me on the mat. Hands behind you, elbow, fingers pointing backwards. Opposite finger, opposite toe, it's challenging. I told you it doesn't look it, but it's crazy. Here we go, get that butt up off the mat, kick the toe. Go, come on, come on. We got 10 seconds right here. We finish with the jump rope, we get a little break. Come on, let's go. Whew. You got it. Three, two, and one. Grab your rope or instead. Here we go. We got 30 seconds with the jump rope right here. Come on, come on, quick feet and move. Go, great job. Good, core tight as you're jumping. Pull it in, doing great, ouch. Go, and five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breather, good work. We got through one round. Ooh, I won't even tell you how many more we have to go, but right now, we get a little breather. Try to slow that breathing down, get a drink of water if you need to. Good work. 